I'm Sir Tap Tap and welcome to Let's Play The Temple of No by Crows Crows Crows. That's right, Parker. This is designed and illustrated by Dominic Johan and written and voice acted by oh voice acted by William Pug, apparently. Hello Parker, yes. Includes visuals and audio. Headphones recommended mandatory. You better be wearing headphones. Or I'll find you. I'll find you. And Parker will meow into your ear incessantly. It's very unpleasant, I must warn you. This game is made in twine. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. Click on uh, underlined words to play. Oh, that's very quiet. There's like a little fire crackle. I'll adjust audio later if it's a problem. Hello. This story may frighten us to... Please don't interrupt me while I'm explaining what's about to go down. This story may fu- Listen, this is a twine. If you're going to act like you've never played a twine before, please just- <clears throat> This story- Wait, seriously? Never played a twine before? We are best about to be spoiled because this is going to be the best twine ever made. That's right. Even better than the beginning of Firewatch. This twine may frighten and disturb- This joke isn't funny anymore and it's your fault for continuing to click on it. Don't do this again. This twine may frighten and disturb you, but if you have a strong stomach, a smart brain box, and a cool face, then perhaps you're brave enough to hear it. I have a cool face. It is it is the coolest face. Um, I hope this is still in frame. I pushed it down so far. Um, Parker, calm down. Scary crinkles, Parker. Run away. There you go. Um, brave like a storm? A bear? Like a bear, yes. Enough about that. This isn't about you. Parker! Please! Down. Sorry. Cat's always in the way. Are you ready? No. <laughs> it opened Google. Okay. We're, we're, we're ready now. This is a story that took... That's right. No more of these. <laughs> that took place a long time ago. It's a good one. Big fat book. My favorite book. Anyway, let's get this old dusty tome out and hear this fantastic tale. It's called... The Brave Like a Bear Explorer in the Jungle of Doubt and the Temple of No. Presented by Crows Crows Crows. If you haven't heard of them, these people make uh, made, um... Like, Dr. Larkovsky, the Tiger and the Terribly Cursed Emerald. So they go with a very long name. Um, so this is a magical book magic powers it is to be incredibly relatable are we a bloke a woman or a frog we are a frog we are the frogest frog that ever frogged okay i'm going to level with you here you're playing the real game here i had to write a whole load of bullshit about subverting the expectations of twine games for the man and woman options and to be honest i don't think those jokes are brilliant the frog story is actually actually genuinely what the whole game is about in fact i'm going to now stop putting any actual effort into writing the other branches of dialogue and i'm going to focus entirely on this one well done for picking the most interesting option. I mean, who, 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 honestly, could pick any of the other options? Unless it was Slippy. I wouldn't pick Slippy. But, uh, hopefully this isn't Slippy. Parker, would you calm down? Yeah, just, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lock my keys here. There we go. Old Frogface lived in Slimy Bottom. A small fishing village in the heart of Yorkshire. It padded a small boat around and ferried smaller animals to and fro each side of the pond. And on Sundays, it paddled down to the animal market and buy twelve fly cakes, one for each of its tadpole children. But this Friday is different. I hope the guy that was doing the narrating, or the voice acting, is the frog voice. I'd be disappointed if that's a stock sound effect. Parker, why do you do this? It's fine, he's not disrupting anything. Not quite. But this Sunday was different. There was a strange taste in the air as it paddled down the stream. It knew in its cold-blooded, froggy heart that it missed the old days of wild adventure. Its youth it had traveled the world and explored new, non-froggy areas. Many of its discoveries had shaped the development of frog culture and frog history. But after enjoying the quiet life, Froggo knew it was time to step foot in the world of adventure once more. His crash horse and our frog's adventure history. He lost an eye. Frogface lost an eye in a massive fucking fight with a baboon. It killed the baboon as one badass frog. 
Don't fuck with the frog. It once traveled to Antarctica and stole 22 penguin eggs. It is a master in stealth and could easily sneak up on you and break your neck easily. Really easily. Frog legs over here jumped over an entire fence. Like a human-sized fence. To escape frog prison compound set up by the UK government after frog uncovered the evil plot to rig the frog elections. It went back and saved all its other frogs, and you should be thanking its froggy eyes. Once you're ready, let's get straight down to the story. Oh, fucking jungle transition in, in audio. You noticing this? Depression Quest didn't have this. Right. Can I click the eyes? No, it's just a picture. Right, let's go right into the story. Frogface entered the Jungle of Doubt on its journey to find this picture, which is... A screenshot of a phone. A square phone. Even better than smartphones. Anyway, the map that sees all things that ever have been or will be, but in map form. The map was legendary. The old tales spoke about it. Yeah, you know the old tales. Yeah. Anyway, so Frogface knew it was proper. It proper wanted the map. So British. Uh, to tell it the secrets of the universe. If I brought the map back to civilization, it could truly achieve greatness. It knew in its cold-blooded, slimy frog heart. The temple that held the, the map was close. Frogface looked up and down all around. Swamp of sus suspicion. The jungle of doubt. The tree of uncertainty. The skull of Steve. Not Steve! Steve! <laughs> and the heart of a champion. Let's pour one out for Steve. Barker's just glaring at me. Frogface looked up, down, and all around. Up. Up the mossy green leaves and giant jungle trees that reached high above it. They spread out, and sometimes you could barely see the sun. It was the heart of the jungle. Knew that surprise was near. Down at the ground. Didn't know I was looking down. But I could see some dirt. A bit of gum wrapper some tourist or jungle the resident left on the floor. Clean up your litter, kids. Don't pollute the environment. All around the jungle surrounding it. And had to cut through the leaves and the brush to the floor and the jungle debris in order to get to the temple that it was going to. As Frogface cut through the leaves and brush and flora and the jungle debris, it thought about some shit. Frogface thought about his feet were hurting a bit. Thought get some Geox shoes on. The shoes that breathe, TM. It continued to breathe, or think. Frogface thought about how its nose was itchy. Thought if it brought Geox shoes, the shoes that breathe, it would be likely have, have such comfortable feet that wouldn't be bothered by a meager nose itch. Continue to think. My chin is itchy now. Geox, the shoes that breathe! Frog face wasn't there yet. It had much more jungle to cut through. So it considered the possibility that life was futile. Frog face thought about futility for a while. Then it remembered that it wasn't any fun to think about, and it thought about doing itself doing a little dance. <coughs> Yeah! Do 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 do. Frog dance. <laughs> Excellent. Finally, Frogface stopped imagining things. What a weirdo. Fucking hell, Frogface thought. Still a ways to go. It sang a little song. If you hear purring, that is my cat. He's so close to the mic. It thought it would sing a little song. You, the player, must sing along with the background music with these lyrics. If you don't, you will know that you will have let yourself down, and if you don't really fucking enjoy this game, it will become because you didn't put the effort in. I'm not gonna sing. These are the lyrics to the song it sung. I am cutting the lead. Oh my god, this is a lot of words. It's too many words. I'm not humiliating myself by reading this. I'm sorry. It, it won't happen. If you didn't sing the song, then you know you've let yourself down. You need to let yourself have fun in your life. Don't try to be so serious. You know what? Screw you. You're just a text file. And I am a human being. So, I win. That's right, Parker. You, you rub my hand in concession or something. Yeah. If you did sing the song, well done. You are cool now. It did it all. It thought about some shit. Sang a little song. Considered the possibility life was futile. Yes! Light! Frogface emerged from the jungle and saw... The Temple of No...
Frogface marveled at its magnificence. Built by the Aztecs, dude. Like, it is big! Anyway. We're not going to just sit here... We're not going to get anyone just just sitting around here giving exposition. Let's climb some stairs. Up. 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 The stairs. We go. And then... The temple! Right. So it's temple time, eh? Remember the explorer's oath! Look! Do not touch! Frogface carefully walked down the dusty and or spooky corridor of the temple, being extra careful not to touch anything. It arrived in a large hall with three doors. Three. Three doors. Three. Three. One plus two. Three doors. Right. It's selection time, everybody. <laughs> left, middle, or anti-left? Is that Steve? Steve! I'm still pining for you. Can I click Steve? I guess not. Um, I'm a big anti-left kind of guy. Oh, oh, dude, in this room there's a bunch of snakes having a pool party. Remember the game Snake? Remember how it had actual gameplay? You can't make snake and twine, can you? Haha, <laughs> no. But let's talk about the snakes. Hey, snakes. Yeah, they seem to be having a cool time. No treasure in here, though. Unless you count a bunch of snakes as a treasure, which personally I don't. Yep. So that was the spooky snake room. Sorry if you got scared. Back in here, I guess? I'm gonna go with left. It's almost... Oh wow, it's the spike room. Remember Spike Mulligan? Nope. Good. But the dictionary defines spike as... Hey, I'm a spike ball. I know all about spikes. Don't you even dare to describe spikes to me. Very large nail. One of a row of pointed irons placed at the top of a wall to prevent passage. One of several metal projections set in the sole and heel of a shoe to improve. No wait, that doesn't apply here. Okay, I don't think there's anything in this room except for spikes. Hmm, I guess we should turn back around. I figured the middle one because it has you know, the omega symbol and these ones are just threes for some reason. I'm not sure why they're threes. So frog face entered... Well, it could be the predator symbol, like the eye thingies on the left. Never mind. So frog face entered the big old room. Okay, now. More stairs in here. Let's climb them. Climbing up, climbing up, up. Yes. Remember back at the start of this twine game? When you picked Sailor Storm Blah... No, that's not what I did. It was bear. It was entirely bear. Wait, no, a boulder. Run away, froggy. It's the most dramatic twine game ever. There's danger! Real, present danger! Are you excited? Scream if you want to progress to the next section of the game. Ah! So, no door has led to the right path? Can no door truly bring us to what we want in life? Perhaps that is the meaning of this tale. That you can go through a jungle, sing a song, climb some boring stairs, check a bunch of rooms, and you'll still never find what you're looking for? Wow. Makes you think. The end. Oh wait, there's another door over to the right. Let's do it! Frogface entered the door, TM. The Great Leader's Chamber! Hello, Great Leader. I would not want to sit in that chair, let me tell you. It doesn't look happy. The Great Leader's Chamber on the seat was... The Great frog, Leader! Um, uh, hi, Frog. Right, so, um, hello. Um, nice to meet you. Nice, uh, hello. Uh, <coughs> sorry, one sec, let me just... Uh. Right, um, um, okay, uh, so, yeah, nice, not nice, hello, <coughs> right, hello, my name is, I am fucking Keith, right, and I am, uh, well, uh, I'm the guy in the throne, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the bloody, bloody Aztec god, I suppose, um, funny, funny story, you look like you kind of come from, Civilized society, I think. Um, but yeah, so I, um, funnily enough, used to be a shoe salesman. You know, I sold, um, you know, shoes. I, I sized people's shoes down, um, you know, down, down, down Halifax Market, you know, for, you know, to sort people's feet out, you know, measuring them, tell you what size you are, you know, put your, put your feet on the little thing. And, um, this is so and intense. So, you know, one day I was, you know, back in. Back in the storage, when 
you know, um, fan, I, 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 I went past kind of size six uh, before, before I got to size seven, and then, you know, God, no, no, next thing, next thing I bloody well know, I'm, I'm here. I'm here, uh, here in this temple, accidentally bloody killed the old, uh, the old Aztec god, and, um, and so the, the, the people of the, this temple and, and, and of the surrounding jungle constituencies, they, they made me their, um, de facto leader. Uh, uh, yeah, um, so... You know that that's that's my back story. Um, looking at you, you you seem to have come along well. Well, you know I, I won't presume to, to ask you about yourself, but you know so um yeah, n- nice to meet you. Name's Keith. Um, glad you could glad you could find the the, the place. Okay, um, I know it is a bit of a well, well it wasn't a trek for me. You know, but fucking between size and six. Uh, six and seven uh, size shoes in, 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 my, in my shoe shop, you know, down the down the high price market. But um, no, clearly, like like you've got you've got you've got you're quite quite uh, you're quite well travelled. Clearly, uh, so you've probably come along. Where are, are you stopping? Are you stopping? Are you, are you passing through? Like um, not hearing a lot of words here. To be fair, not hearing a lot of words here. But um, you know, I'm I'll, I'm I'm happy to you know wait. I'm done. Um, so how are you finding the place? We've got a nice, um, you got, you know, it's clearly very old. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't study history, so I can, I can tell you that, um, you know, I don't really know too much about the place, you know, I'm, I'm trying to work a bit of stuff out, um, from, you know, subjects, you know, what they tell me, I uh, <laughs> tell you, it is a relief. It is a relief very minimum, you know, to, to meet someone who clearly bloody understands what I'm saying, you know, and people here do not, do not speak Anglaic. <laughs> no, but, uh, no, I mean, I mean, yeah, um, so, tell you what, um, how about you, you, um, you could tell me, like, why you're here? I can help well, feel like this. You're, you're looking at me a lot, you know, I'm, I'm a bit unnerved, you know, I don't want to have to, uh, you know, bring in my, bring in my guards, have you uh, whisked away, uh, but, but, in fact, how did you get in here, did you, you kind of come through the main passage, like, did you come in through the spike entrance, oh man, tell you that, tell you what, you know, you know, those, those three routes, did you see the snakes, <laughs> oh, you know, I don't get what these pe- these people these pe- like I don't get what their deal is about snakes. I mean, bath full. Of, I keep telling them they keep trying to draw me a bath full of snakes, and I'm like, like guys, guys is okay. Speaker on glay, <laughs> uh, but I, I keep telling them, you know, don't. I'm not a fan of snakes. You know, keep the snakes in the back. Don't want to see snakes. You know. Kind of get it now. They just put them all in that big pit, that big fucking, that, that big, uh, sorry, didn't mean to swear, you know, such terribly rude. Um, uh, that big pit of snakes right there. Um, uh, the boulder alarm did go off. I'm gonna assume that was you. Sorry about that. It's old, you know, you know it's old, um, it's the old, you know, ways here. You know, they, they get, <clears throat> pardon me. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Um, no, it's the old ways. So, um, yeah. Uh, no, I'm just gonna. I'm just, no, I, why are you here? <coughs> what What are you doing here? Can you tell me? Can you tell me why you're here? You're not speaking. All right, you're not speaking. Okay. So, Look, okay, look, listen clearly, I'm, I might be overwhelming you a bit, you know, I, I get, I'm on the throne, you know, I'm an overwhelming guy, I tell you, some of the subjects, some of the subjects come here, you know, one brought me a bloody, bloody head of some kind of tiger the other, the other day, you know, a head of tiger, I'm, I'm like, whoa, whoa, don't, message not received, message, if you don't need to give me bloody seven heads of animals to, to tell me what, Tell me what's going on, no disrespect, mind you, you know, being 
Um, no, I mean, uh, no. well, well, so, look, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be quiet, and I'm just gonna, I'm like, okay, look, I talk a bit, I talk quite quickly, so you know what, I'm just gonna repeat everything that I se- I've said, <coughs> alright, and I'm just gonna say it again, just so you get the message, okay? So, you know, just gonna repeat the fuck, fo- okay, so, right, here we go, so, fresh impression, fresh impression, okay, right, here, here, okay. <clears throat> you done? Right, so, um, hello, um, nice to meet you, nice, uh, hello, uh, sorry, one sec, let me just, uh. So this is what it's like to watch one of my videos, huh. Right. Um, <laughs> I was playing some um, okay. Legend of Dark well, Witch there. Um, we asked for the map, which angered the great leader, so Frogface decided to kill him! But little did it know, in killing the great leader, TM, it would become the great leader, TM. Look at that. That is a good arm. That is a good-ass arm. Ugh. Oh, I wish I had an arm like that. I only got, you know, the two, I mean, three joints, kind of. You know, you got the shoulder, you got the elbow, and you got the wrist. This, this guy, he's got... You know, he's got one additional joint. I guess, that, is that just one? No, that's that's two. Anyway. And you violate the explorer's oath. Look, but do not touch. Oh, come on. That, that, that is crap. Nathan Drake explores all kinds of things. And he touches pretty much everything. And everything pretty much explodes. No, how could Frogface have forgotten the explorer's oath? It was très important. French! Uh-huh! Uh-huh! Now, there was the great leader's loyalists approached it, ready to worship it as their new god. The frog had decided right there, right now, if it would break vows and totally just be a cool ruler in the jungle, or grab the map. <laughs> Escape back to Civilization 5. <laughs> We're going back to Civ 5. And that's what it did. That's what Frog's face did. Or should I say, that's what I did. I am the frog. That's right, fools. I am old frog face, and that shit happened to me. I don't know what lessons I learned, or if I learned any lessons at all, but I got the map. I got it. It's given me many pieces of insight. And because you've heard my tale and listened to my words of wisdom, I will tell you one piece right now. The wisdom is... Have you ever played a good game in Twine? Like, one that's actually good, not like, good for a Twine game? That's it! It's the end! (laughs) Designed and illustrated by Dominic Johan. Written and voice acted by William Pug. Produced by Kevin Patterson. Hosted on Itch.io. Itch.io is great. Um, You can download the game Source Hub. Their source code on GitHub and make some twine games. Ambient Sounds by Free Sound and Sound Snap. So it wasn't a real frog. It wasn't a dude voice acting the frog. I'm so upset. I'm filing all of the complaints. Just every single complaint. They're all happening right now. For more games and surprises. (coughs) Excuse me. Join the secret email club. That is where I found uh, I got this game. Um, th- that's where they also sent out, you know, um, that free the our cards of the the, the tiger and the, the long game name. You know the one. So yeah, you can put your email in this you know slot. Well, I guess you you can't because I'll just I'll just give you a link to the website so you can sign up and you don't have to play the whole game. How about how about that? Because you already saw the game. Um, so yeah, that was a Crows, Crows, Crows game. <laughs> I hope you didn't watch the whole thing. Like, I, I put an annotation so you'd, you could skip that guy if you didn't want to listen to the boring, but it's too late now. Never mind, Tap. Never mind. Never mind.